the uh, government uh, initially rejected uh, our petition uh, to recognize the validity of the marriage by saying that uh, there can't be a marriage between two faggots. And as far as we know, that's still the position of the government in this case. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, that's the kind of discrimination that's forbidden by the United States Constitution. We intend to rectify it, and that's why we're here. I don't want to go through another five years of it, but if we have to, we will. Yes, I'm not allowed to work or go to school or pursue any uh, productive development of my life while all this is taking place, and there's been seven years of that, and another five years of that, uh, it gets to be wearing after a while. This action involves uh, April 1970. Uh, there is no order, uh, there, there is no pending order of deportation. What are you planning to do in court today? Today, uh, we're asking the court to order the Immigration and Naturalization Service to recognize the validity of the marriage between Tony Sullivan and Richard Adams. Uh, Tony is an Australian citizen, and he's seeking, uh, through Richard, to be permitted to stay in this country on a permanent basis as the spouse of an American citizen. The Immigration Service has uh, refused the petition. Uh, it took a number of years for it to wend its way here, but now we're in federal court and we're asking Judge Hill to order the Immigration Service to recognize that t these two men are in fact married, they love one another, and they have the right to live with one another in the United States. What will happen if Judge Hill turns down your request? Uh, we will appeal to the Federal Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, and we'll take this case as far as we have to. Has there been a case like this before, or is this a precedent-setting case? Uh, there's never been a case involving whether or not gay men or women have the right to marry one another brought in the federal courts. This is the first one. There have been some in state courts around the country, uh, but never in the federal courts. Is there any question about the marriage in Colorado being legal in that state? There is no question at all. The uh, state of Colorado, through its uh, officials, could have brought an action in state court there to set this marriage aside. Uh, on the grounds that it was illegal, but it's been four and a half years and Colorado has done nothing, and we assume that Colorado approves of this marriage, at least tacitly. Well, are you saying that the Immigration Service simply doesn't recognize the laws in Colorado? I, the Immigration Service has taken its own position on what it thinks Colorado law means, but I, that's a wrong position. It's wrong as a matter of Colorado law, but really, more importantly, it's wrong as a matter of uh, United States constitutional law. Gay people have the right to marry the person that they love, uh, just like any other citizen of the United States, and uh, that's the right that ought to be and has to be recognized. If Judge Hill does uh, rule against you today, and there is a deportation hearing. It was over with. I hope it's over as soon as possible.